Today is uh, 9 April 2009. We are at the Buffalo Erie County Historical Society. My name is Wayne Clark. My assistant is Kathleen Matthews. Uh, sir, for the record, would you please state your full name and your date and place of birth? Full name is Joseph J. Scott. And uh, what else do you... Your uh, date and place of birth? 7 And where Buffalo. were you born? Buffalo. Buffalo? Yeah. Okay. Did you attend school in Buffalo? Yes. School seven nine and started there and then uh, I, I went to uh, I graduated from high, uh, grammar school. I uh, I made my first communion in, at St. Paul's on Delaware Avenue in Kenmore. Mm -hmm. And uh, and I went to six, school sixty one. I started out at 79 because I lived on Henry Avenue. Mm -hmm. And uh, I forgot the name of the street, but Lawn Avenue that was it. And, and, and school 79. That's where I was in kindergarten. All right. And uh, then we, we moved and I went to school, I forget, 43 or something. I forget that. And All right. Do you remember uh, where you were when uh, you heard about uh, the bombing of Pearl Harbor? Yes, uh, I was. I was in. Uh, I was living in, uh, in, in Buffalo at the time, mm -hmm. and uh, I went. To, I went to service. Oh, let me see. Uh, you, you, uh, you, would, you went into the service uh, February 13, 1943? Yeah. Now, did you enlist or were you drafted? Well, I was, I was drafted, but I kept going down and asking where I'm going to go because I didn't want to enlist because my mother was alone. And, mm -hmm. and uh, so I waited until I was drafted. Okay. And, uh, so I, uh, I, uh, that, that's when I, uh, uh All right. to think. You, you went to basic, uh... Niagara Falls. Okay. Yeah. What was, uh, basic training like? Was that your first time away from home? Oh, really, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I, uh, was, uh, then we were stationed there, we were there for about oh, maybe a week. Mm -hmm. Then we thought we were going to go uh, <coughs> over to go overseas. And they, they turned around and sent us back. They put us on a plane and then in their train and sent us to California, Fort Bliss, Texas. I, I think I got it. Yes. I, I got it there. What What did you do at Fort Bliss? Well, it was basic training, really. Okay. And, uh, How was that training down there? Was it? Uh, what What was the weather like in Texas? Oh, it was beautiful. Was it? Yeah. And we were, we were, and uh, we had our fire. I was a ninety millimeter gun. I was a, I was a gunner on a ninety millimeter. So they they trained you uh, for artillery. Yeah, yeah. The mm -hmm. Fort Bliss it, uh, it used to be a cavalry outfit, mm -hmm. and then they made it a, a, a artillery. A, a motorized. Okay, a motorized cavalry. Yeah. All right. Now, what was your job on the? I was a gunner on that 90 millimeter. Okay. Did uh, I, I know the, um, a lot of people that were with the guns that there were different uh, positions. There was yes, the, the loading yes, and yes, the. Yes, so you you trained yeah, them. I was I was a gunner. We had a 
a, a loader, mm -hmm. put the shell, put it up there, I rammed it home, and I fired it. Okay. And uh, then uh, I was a T5, a corporal, corporal and uh, I had a sergeant above me. All right. How long were you at Fort Bliss for? Oh. About, about six months or something like that. Mm -hmm. And it, uh, they sent us to uh, Oh, Ontario? Ontario. California? That was it. Yeah, and uh, we were lived in the pup tents for quite a while mm -hmm. in, uh, in Ontario there. And in fact, we used to go to Hollywood on, on, uh, on past, past time. And, uh, it was nice, nice duties down there. Uh huh. And so, so did you get to see any of the uh, movie stars in Hollywood? Yes, yes, yes. In fact, they used to wait on us at the canteen. Uh huh. Oh, you went to the Hollywood canteen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, uh, yeah, they were. They, were, they treated us wonderful. And, uh, Do you remember any of the movie stars you got to meet? Uh, Brian. And, uh, I'm trying to think of. I forget about the women. I forgot. <laughs> You've forgotten the women, huh? <laughs> but, uh, but they're all they're all wonderful. Mm -hmm. They treated us great, and uh, they uh, we were the United we, they, they, we uh, stayed at the. We didn't even have to get. Have a hotel. We used to go to the center, and they they put us out on the on the lawns. Mm -hmm. Give us a, something to, to lay on, and and uh, stay overnight there. And uh -huh. it was so you were treated pretty well, huh? Oh well, yeah, they were great. They, were uh -huh. great. they couldn't do enough for you. In fact, if you go to a bar. They wouldn't let you pay for a drink and things like that. And mm -hmm. was, uh, people were people were nice. And uh, but uh, all right. And uh, you assembled at uh, Ontario, California. Yeah. Were you getting ready to uh, move to Europe? Yes. Yeah. They, they, uh, we thought we were going over the other way, but. They, 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 in California, they sent us back to New York. How did you get to New York? On a train. On a train? Yeah. Okay. And uh, went to, uh, uh, I'm trying to think of the place. Uh, Camp Shanks? Huh? Was it Camp Shanks you were at? Fort Niagara, that was it. Ni Niagara was where you were at. Uh... We were inducted from the Niagara Bay Tennis. Okay. And then they, had, they sent us to. We were in Fort Bush, Texas. Mm hmm. And we got our basic training down there. Right. Then you went to California, then back to New York. Right. And they, they sent you across. Over to. We were landed at. Uh, 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 Wales. Part of Wales. All right. Was what was what was your trip like across the ocean? Terrible. Was it? I was sick six days out of eight. Were you really? Oh, I wanted to die. W were you able to eat it all? <laughs> the only way I could eat it, I'd run to the cook, get the food, and I'd run down to my bunk and lay down and eat it. Uh huh. There wasn't good I could do it, but uh, I. Uh, it was a terrible, terrible trip. So it, it took us 14 days going over. Now, did you go over in a convoy or a single ship? Single. We, had a, we were on a luxury liner. Uh huh. But uh, it didn't seem like a luxury. <laughs> and uh, I was so sick. 
uh, six six days out of eight. All right. And you you said you landed at uh, Cardiff, Wales. Cardiff, Wales, right. All right. And uh, once you l landed in Wales, where did they send you next? Then we went Cardiff. To, to England? Okay. At, at, that, at, at that point, uh, uh, did they put you in a unit? Yeah. Where you were? Well, we were, we were in a unit before we went to. Okay, so, so you went over as a unit? Southern 40th, yes. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. And uh, once you assembled in England, was there more training involved, or did they send you right into action? Well, we were, we were, it was actually, there was no, no, no uh, action in, uh, in England. You know, right. But uh, we, we uh, had more training. And uh, from there, we went to Cardiff, Wales. Mm -hmm. Now, you were, uh, my understanding is you were preparing for the Normandy invasion? Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh. yeah, we were, well, we, see, I was in an aircraft, mm -hmm. and we were after the, after the uh, infantry. Okay. And uh, they, uh, we set up our guns, we had, we had each battalion, uh, Battalion had a four, four ninety millimeters uh, guns, mm -hmm. and uh, then there was a, there was five, five battery, four batteries, and, and uh, A, B, C, and D, and I was in battery D. Okay. And uh, I was a gunner on the number four gun. Mm -hmm. Um. What was it like when you landed in, in France? You landed at uh, Omaha Beach, but that was after the initial invasion. Yeah, yeah. Was there any resistance at all by the enemy when, when you had landed? No, no. We, we didn't have any. Okay. Yeah. Actually, I didn't get much action because uh, we were, we were an artillery and uh, our guns would have, we never had a get up on the line, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, we used to fire at the plane, uh, the buzz bombs, buzz bombs. We, I, I looked for that, I couldn't find it. Uh, I had a Antwerp X and told all about uh, buzz bombs. And that, that was our, and it was this thick. Okay, so so your job was to to shoot down like the buzz bombs and the V two rockets. Right. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we, uh, yeah, I was a gunner, and it was ten men to a crew. Mm hmm And uh, there was a loader, and then I used to I used to ram the shell home and fire it. Mm hmm But uh, but. Uh, as far as hand-to-hand -hand combat, we had none of that. Mm -hmm. Was there was a chance of it, but we, we never had, we never did encounter it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Were was your battery ever able to shoot down any of the the rockets, oh, the, yes. the buzz bombs? In fact, we crippled a couple and scared the hell out of us because <laughs> we had and it started coming around like this, uh -huh. <laughs> coming down on us. Uh -huh. You know, we crippled it. But, uh, we were running all over, to, but it wouldn't have done any good because when they land, when they, they land, it's a hole as big as a big as a house. Uh -huh. And uh, so, so after a while, we just forgot about it and didn't even bother getting out of bed anymore. So if it hits, it hits. That's all. Mm -hmm. How many of them did your battery shoot down? Do you recall? Oh God, it was just. I, I, I looked all over for this magazine I had a, called Antwerp X. I couldn't find it. Okay. And uh, it, uh, 
we had all little little spots of um, of all the places you went to. You know, you know, of what the border would have looked like if if all the, all the firing that was going on, mm -hmm. if if we hadn't been there. And, it's, uh, it, we were eff effective, in, in other words. Mm -hmm. we, uh, but it was, uh, it was just something that, that unbelievable. Because these, these, these things were as big as a house, mm -hmm. uh, these bombs. And when you cripple them, they could they'd come right down on you. Because uh -huh. you know, we used to fire as they're coming out. And uh, coming to us, to, you know, to fire it before it got to Germany. Mm -hmm. And, uh, and uh, not to Germany, but they came from Germany. Heading, going to France going and England? Into, going into London and things like that, you know, so. Mm -hmm. In fact, we were set up in London, we, we fired about a week. And uh, we fired on some air, airplane, Nazi planes, and I don't know if we got any. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we fired them, but we knocked down an awful lot of, uh, crippled the uh, buzz bombs. Okay. The, the, the dangerous thing was those V2s. Mm -hmm. You didn't see those. In fact, we were going to, we were on pass, and and we were going to a movie and, and well, and, and, uh, how was it, in, in Belgium there. And well, anyway, we were going to the movie and on the way, a buzz bomb got through and hit the movie where we would have been. Yeah. We, didn't, we didn't get there, it blew up before we got there. Mm -hmm. And it just demolished it. And uh, so that was one, one place I was glad that we didn't make it, <laughs> make it there. But uh, I, as far as action, we didn't see a heck of a lot of action, you know. Mm -hmm. but we fired a lot of buzz bombs. Buzz bombs were going over. And uh, we, we tried to cripple them before they got, sure. got to the, the destination. And we used to, we, we, we probably got around 75% of them. Mm -hmm. But we had, our battery was consisted of, uh, there's four, four batteries in the headquarters. So there's five and we had four of them situated around that. And uh, we used to fire at the, Got over us, right? We got, <laughs> got to the destination. I don't know. But mm -hmm. We got, we got. A, according to the, the, I had a book mm -hmm. I'm looking for. It's called Antwerp X, mm -hmm. and it shows all the spots where how many bombs. Okay. We would would have uh, how bad it would have been had we been there. Mm -hmm. Now, what was your, what was your living conditions like? Were you living in the field? In pup tents. In pup tents. And, well, for a while, pup tents, and then we had uh, tents where there uh, six guys to a uh, regular pyramidal tent. Okay. And uh, what what we about station in the in, in, we were stationed in the desert in Europe, in California, okay. and. Uh, all right. Well, before we went overseas. Okay. Good. Yeah, but uh, getting back to Europe, uh, what what about your equipment and clothing? Was it adequate? Oh, definitely. Yeah, we had a, we had we had an overcoat. And okay. Did you did you have the uh, rubber boots or just the combat boots? The combat boots. That's all. Mm -hmm. Helmet and the, and the uh, helmet liner and uh, 
the fatigue jackets. Okay. And uh, I mean, uh, actually, we had we had enough of everything, you know. Mm -hmm. Of course, it used to get pretty damn cold out there. Yeah. And. Uh, did you have a sleeping bag to sleep in, or? I had a sleeping bag, but I used to. <laughs> I, I I wound up with six blankets too. <laughs> I don't know where I got them, <laughs> but I, I stuffed them in my sleeping bag, and I was stuffed them between them. Uh -huh. And uh, but I was warm as toast. But they, we had cots that we had to, in the you know, middle tents, you know, mm -hmm. and we had cot, cots. They, uh, I don't know where they, where they got the cots, but they got them because we, we didn't have to sleep on the ground anyway. Mm -hmm. Did you move around quite a bit? Quite a bit because as soon as uh, the Germans spotted where we were, they sent, sent planes over there and we got out just in time. Mm -hmm. We moved our guns. We had. We had four, four nine millimeters and four uh, uh, machine guns on each outfit, uh, each battery. Now, did you carry any kind of personal weapon? I had a, I had a, I had a rifle, but I never used it. Uh -huh. I don't think I even fired it. I never had any use to fire it. Because uh -huh. we, never, we never had hand-to-hand -hand combat. Uh, in fact, I never saw the enemy, you know. Mm -hmm. It was, we were sh shooting at the planes and, but, uh, Okay, it looks like uh, from the, the papers you submitted, you traveled around quite a bit. You were in, you were in Holland and Belgium too. Yes. Okay, what was, uh, what was it like in Holland? Holland? It, it, Almost the same as uh, just like being in France. In, in France, it, 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 they really didn't know, you know. Mm -hmm. the, the it was wherever they sent you. Yeah, and uh, it was uh, the, the people who were tried to see it. In fact, we, we were in Paris, stationed in Paris, and uh, we were stationed in the Dental Institute, the big building, and we used to write letters out of a big operating table, <laughs> the big lights, you know, with uh -huh. China. and that's how we used to write letters. And, uh, they, uh, it was, uh, okay. Now, the, the Battle of the Bulge, w were you involved in that at all? No. Okay. No. All right. Do you remember uh, where you were when you heard about the death of President Roosevelt? Do you recall that at all? I remember it, but I don't remember where we were. Okay. That was getting towards the end of the war. Um, where were you when uh, when the war in, in Europe ended? Were you in uh, Holland? It looks like it looks like you were in Holland when when the uh, war in Europe ended. Uh, you were there May fifth, May fifteenth, and I believe the the war ended sometime in May. Do you remember what it was like when you heard that the war had ended? Was there a lot of celebrating? Oh sure, yeah, there was. There was a lot of celebrating, but not like back in the states. Mm -hmm. we, was, we saw movies of the, what was going on in the states, you know. And, uh huh. There wasn't anything like that. Was there any worry that you might be sent to uh, the Pacific? There was, there was some talk about it, but uh, we never did get we never did get to go. Okay. They, they, they prepared us to go, but uh, we never did. All right. Um, when you were over in Europe, did you get to see any USO shows, or did you get any passes into Paris or London or? No, well, we were we were stationed in Paris. Uh huh. In fact, we took a, the dental institute there. Right. That we were we were that was our headquarters. <laughs> so what did you think of Paris? Oh, 
beautiful. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's great. And uh, I got to see London and some Cardiff, Wales, and mm -hmm. there's, there's all, you got all the, all the places there, but uh, I, uh, Okay. Now it's it says here. Uh, were you a prisoner of war guard? Yes. Do you want to tell us about that? What that was like? Well, we were we were stationed in. So it was a it was a POW camp. Yeah, and uh, I uh, we were the guards. Mm -hmm. I was a corporal of guards. I didn't have to stand guard, but, and uh, we used to all all the uh, our, our, our artillery. Even our other batteries and that, we all used to take turns in, in guarding the prison. Mm -hmm. And uh, now, were they were German, German, regular German soldiers, German, or German soldiers? They were, we used to get the ones that used to come back from the states that were. That oh, they, I see. They okay. Had in the states. Yes. And then they come back, and they had they had the luxury like we never even saw. Mm -hmm. They had hair, hair tonics, they had this and that. <laughs> so they were... We had a room just piled up with all, all kinds of hair tonics and shaving creams and things that we never even saw, you know. Uh-huh. Uh and... Uh, How long did you, did you do that for? Oh, gosh. You know, probably three, four months, something like that. Okay. And uh, then, we, then, we, uh, then were you sent home at that point? No, no. No? No, no. No war was still going on. Okay. Where, uh, well, let's see. When the war ended uh, in May of 45, you were, you were in France. It said Baldeck? Baldeck. Baldeck, yes. France? Baldeck, yes. Okay. And did you go back to the States shortly after the war ended? Shortly. No, no not too long after. And, uh, How did you go back to the States? Um, ship again? Yeah. Mm -hmm. How was that trip across? It wasn't quite as bad. Uh huh. But uh, it was, uh, it wasn't as long. Going over, well, we had a cool in the roundabout ways, you know, you get plus to New York and mm -hmm. you come around and you landed at Cardiff, Wales. Mm -hmm. We were on 14 days on, on, the, on that, but coming back, it was only about five, six, about six or seven days. Okay, and, and, and where just, just came straight across. Whereabouts did you uh, land? At, at uh, New York. New York? Yeah, Camp Shanks. Okay. Were you discharged from, from there? Or? Yeah, yeah, got discharged from there. Okay, and once they, you were discharged, did you come back home to Buffalo? Yeah, yeah, okay. I uh, came back to Buffalo. Did your family know that you were coming? Oh yeah, yeah, because I called them up mm -hmm. from New York, because we were stationed in New York a few days before we got, went home. Okay. And once you got back home, um, got out of the service, did you make use of the GI Bill at all? Did you use it for schooling or buy a home or? No, I didn't. No? No, I, uh, Okay. No. Okay. Did you stay in touch with any of the guys you were in the service with? For years. For years we uh, we had reunions every year for about 50 years. Okay. And uh, 
course, you got to, we roll men <laughs> Uh huh. We stopped, stopped having them because it was starting. They died off so fast. Mm -hmm. And uh, but we 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 had them with our wives and everything. Mm -hmm. And we used to have, we used to have them all. We had them in the, in the, in Buffalo. No, we had them in uh, Rochester. We had them in Sy Syracuse. Reunion, you know. Uh huh. And we had some, some, some wild times, even with our wives. Uh huh. And, uh, but, uh, finally. Now, did you join any veterans organizations like the VFW or the Legion? I did, but I never followed it up. All right. Just wasn't one for, mm -hmm. for doing that. Do you think your time in the service uh, changed or affected your life at all? Well, I don't know. I don't think so. I wouldn't know what I would have been doing if I hadn't been in service. I went in and I was 17 when I went in. Mm -hmm. and, uh, still so young. Okay. Now, when you, you you got out of the service, uh, where did you meet your wife? Did you know her before I you went her, in? That was funny. I met her when I was come home on furlough. Uh huh. And I met her, and we started corresponding. And then I got discharged. And I come home. I married her. And. Uh, yeah, it was just kind of a sh <laughs> Okay. And what was your wife's name? Hmm? What was her name? Jeanette. Jeanette? Yeah, she just passed away a year ago. Oh. And uh, how, how many children did you have? Four. Hmm. I had three boys and a girl. All right. In fact, I'm, I pulled this. Recently, I built an addition on my daughter's house, and that's where I live now. Mm -hmm. With my daughter, but I, I got my own little apartment attached to their house. Okay. Do you have any grandchildren? Yes. I got four. Four. Let me see. No, oh, do I have more? You have seven. <laughs> seven. Seven. Yes. Okay. And uh, you were saying that you eventually went into the submarine sandwich business? Yes, in 19, and that was in 1946. Mm -hmm. I did odd jobs up until then. I worked at Nightingale's. I don't know if you know. Oh, that. yes, yeah, I remember that. Yeah, fine and fine. I worked for them. Before I went to service, I, I, was, I was a kid, I used to work in the, help out in the stock room. Mm -hmm. So then when I got in, uh, I, uh, when I come out, was, was, I even worked at, at Chevy, too, in the defense plant. Uh -huh. That's where I was drafted from. But uh, when, uh, when I come out, I didn't go back to Chevy. and. Uh, I went to work for Meisner's. Mm -hmm. And then you opened the sub shop? And, uh, you and your wife? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But, uh, and, and how long did you uh, run the sub shop? Oh God, it's still going, but I, I don't run it, my son's got it. So it's still in the family? Yeah, I, yeah, I, I had it about, about 20 years, I guess. Okay. And, uh, I, uh, yeah, we made, a, we made a good living out of it. Mm -hmm. And you raised, uh, raised four I, children. Huh? And you raised four children. Huh? Four children. And, uh, we, we lived in a pretty decent house. And, mm -hmm. but, yeah. We had it easy after that. Mm -hmm.
retired, you know, so uh -huh. you know, it's, I'm not, I live with my, my daughter. Okay. I got my building addition under her house. All right. So uh, I lived with my wife for well, the last, last year. Mm -hmm. She just passed away. Okay. But, uh, Sorry to hear that. Well, thank you. Thank you very much for your interview. I, uh, I probably wasn't too much information for you, but no, that you did. You did well. I, uh, but what they always used to say, uh, uh, <laughs> all the experiences I had. I, want to go through it again, but I wouldn't give it up for any amount of things. Glad I went through it. But, uh, yes, we have a lot of veterans that, that say the very same thing. Yeah. It was a great experience. Mm -hmm. We never got to where we were, all these different places. I mean, I, I never got to London, I never got to, to Brussels. And, uh, we were stationed in Hollywood there, outside of Hollywood, for mm -hmm. for six months. Things couldn't have been, <laughs> that's any better duty. And we got we went to when we got sent to, in the desert in California, and uh, they had a they had a storm and it rained like the devil. And mm -hmm. we had our, our guns, you know, the 90 millimeters. You, you dug holes and put them, put them down and had outriggers. And uh, it rained and our guns were underwater. That wasn't good. <laughs> <laughs> well, then we had easy doozy after that. Uh -huh. they, took them, they took the guns, the guns to to uh, where they where they, where they had to repair them, uh -huh. <laughs> and we had, we had an easy life about that until we got out, out in, over the seas, mm -hmm. and uh, we got them back there. <laughs> but uh, half the time in the states we were without them. Because the, the, the one guy he insisted we put them back on the put them in the ground, you know, uh -huh. and they didn't want to do it, but he insisted we put them in the ground. And we had a storm, and the guns were under the water. Under the water. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for your interview. I don't know. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I'll make copies. Thank you. I think that's important. Oh, that? You'll get a copy of this, Dad, and you can just sit down and share it with oh, really? Richie and Lindsay and Jess and yeah, Diana, yeah. Jamie. Yeah, I, uh, Everyone. Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, I wish I would have. Never for the good proof. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, my father looked at the shrimp and was. So this was our outfit. Okay, which let's just pick three, Dad. Which three would you like to be in? Well, you can you can show a few more than that. Oh, That's okay. fine. Let's see, this is the way that when the flood, when the okay. flood is in, in the in the service. That's when all I got here. The text is thinking for okay. the three. All right, so we'll go with these. Yeah, this is when we were we were in Paris in Hollywood. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, in case you don't want to see that, that's when I was doing the chinette. You want the one with you and Mom? Uh, no, the chinette there. Right, uh-huh. Where's Mom? Right here, but there's Mom, Jeanette. Oh, there's Jeanette. Right. Yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah. That's when I was alone. The girl I was doing, she got mad, she tore him up. <laughs> this is this is when we were in 
in Hollywood during the storm? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's it. So do you want him to tell you where these are from? Uh, yeah, he, he can. If okay, you want Dad, to hold. I'm going to hold it up, and you just say where where it was, okay? So we'll start with that one. Yeah, this, this was taken in, in the... Uh, station. And it looks like it was probably in the state somewhere. No, no, no. It was overseas. Oh, it was overseas? Okay. Yeah, in the Dental Institute. Oh, okay, in France. France, yeah. Okay. That was a, that's where we were stationed there. We used to write, write, write our letters under a big operating table lamp. This is in California, Dad? Oh, that was that was that was the same during the during the flood. Oh, can can you hold that flat so I can zoom in on it? Can you see it? Yep. Okay. In Texas. I'm getting a little. Okay, that's good. Okay, got it. Yeah. No, that's during the flood, huh? Mm -hmm. Then, Dad, where's that? Oh, yeah. This is when we were, we were in the past. Yeah, let me see where the hell it was. Wow, friends. Okay. Okay. And then well, he, this, he was friends with this Pope just until last one of the, year when he one died. One of my best friends from the service. He passed. He's passed away. Oh. Okay. We used to go on pass together. And Where were you, Dad? That was, that was, in, that was in France. Okay. And that's his dad. Okay. And that's his wife. I'm getting a little glare if you can just hold that up. Okay, that's perfect. Okay. What was your dad's name? Hmm? What was your dad's name? There's a picture with your dad. My dad's name? Yeah. Joseph. Who was Joseph? Also? Yeah, yeah. Um, Joseph, uh, I don't know if he, he didn't know if he had a middle name. Mm -hmm. This is when I was before I went to service. There's a picture of my old car, <laughs> 1932 Ford. Oh. Yeah, I was in a, 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 oh. had a uniform on there. Uh -huh. I was drum, in a drum. drum uh, so you worked at Nisner's and the Chevy, and you had a 32 Ford before the service? Yeah. And we're doing okay for a 17-year-old. Yeah, well, that's <laughs> that, 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 you made it up one of our reunions. Oh, yes, you want to hold that up and, and, and I'll zoom in on it. That's why, I, that's why I brought it, you know. Okay, great. Thank you. Yeah, that was, we were always real close. Mm -hmm.